All right, on today's episode, we're gonna try our hands at mustard barbecue sauce, which is basically a Charleston favorite, uh, which could be Gullah style, uh, but definitely low country style for sure. And uh, here's Lily's of Charleston that I bought. So we're gonna try our hands at making mustard from scratch. So I got some mustard seeds here, which are darker colored, but once you actually rip break them open by grinding them. It actually changes color to orange, or it doesn't change color. The inside of them is orange. So that's kind of interesting. If you don't want to do that, you could just buy like ground mustard. I know a very popular one is Coleman's. And the way mustard seems to be made, based on what you could tell from the ingredients, I'm not the ingredients, the recipe for Coleman's powder mustard is to mix equal parts of the ground mustard with really cold water and then let it sit for like 10, 20 minutes or so. And then I'm pretty sure you're gonna wanna have to like preserve the flavor with maybe some vinegar and some salt. Um, Cause I'm sure the flavor will go away just based on the, cat the catalysis that's occurring between it. So yeah, so let's do that. I think this whole thing is probably a quarter cup and then we'll do a quarter cup of ice cold water and then just mix that bad boy up. Yeah, this looks more like if you guys ever eaten that like kind of ground stone, stone ground mustard or whatever you call it. Ooh, yeah. That definitely smells like mustard. So the other thing I'm gonna add to add the spice is chipotle um, puree, which basically you can make pretty easily by just taking some dried chipotles, which is smoked dried um, jalapenos. And you basically take these dry things and you put them in hot water and you soak them for like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. And then the water plus the peppers you put into a food processor and puree it into this kind of paste right here, which should be really smoky. Oh, <coughs> yes, very smoky. Um, and it has some spice to it, which is exactly what we need. So what I'm gonna do is mix equal parts of a half cup of each. So a half cup of molasses, half cup of brown sugar, and a half cup of your corn syrup. This is obviously gonna be really sugary, but that's barbecue sauce for you. Barbecue sauce is always sugary. So we're gonna do, what, two tablespoons of honey. Let's see, how much puree do we wanna add? It's a tablespoon, two tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons of puree should be plain. This is really, be hard to mix. We'll probably just mix it up as we heat it. And I'm just gonna double boil it. Um, you don't have to do it that way. You can probably just cook it in a saucepan as is. But it's just the way I'm gonna do it. So the other thing we need to add to it is some Worcestershire sauce. So we'll add like, I don't know, like two, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, I don't know, one tablespoon might be enough. Worcestershire sauce definitely has a kick to it. So just a tablespoon of that. And then the mustard should be ready. So that's what the mustard looks like. It smells pretty good. And we're gonna wanna add some white vinegar. So we're gonna need to add some white vinegar and some salt to preserve it. Maybe two teaspoons of white vinegar. And I'm gonna actually measure out salt. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so we'll add that to this. I don't taste much of the mustard though. I wonder if I should add some of the Coleman's. We could probably just do another quarter cup, right? 
It's a quarter cup. And then a quarter cup of cold water. Yeah, this is a lot more potent yellow and a lot thicker too, which might actually be good for us. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, making this was quite difficult. Double broiling it doesn't seem like that was the smartest idea. It took forever for it to thicken. So then I just cooked it directly in a saucepan and um, then I made it too thick. So I had to re-add water to get it back to a consistency that is a little more easier to work with. But I'm still worried that this is not gonna attach well to the chicken. Um, I'm glad I added the little bit more mustard in it because now it tastes a little bit more mustardy. And the ground up mustard I made has more of a stone ground mustard texture added to it. It tastes fine. I mean, I think this definitely needs a little bit more spice addition to play around with a little bit more of a flavor profile um, because it just tastes like mustard and like a sweet sauce mixed in there. So I think this definitely needs a little bit more amendments, but for now it's fine. And then as per our usual recipe, we'll be baking it at 425 for 30 minutes. All right, so we got the store-bought mustard barbecue coated chicken wings here, and then the one I made. It's pretty obvious the mustard barbecue store-bought one has more of a mustard color to it, and it actually smells far more mustardy than mine. Yeah, it has a nice mustardy tang kick to it. Yeah, mine has more of a mustard aftertaste, but up front more of a, yeah, but up front more of a molasses-y flavor. And the mustard's kind of in the background. So I would play around with the ratio a little bit more. Probably add a little bit more mustard to it. Um, I didn't have lemon juice on hand, but lemon juice was called for. And that might actually make it a little more zestier. Okay, well anyways, I mean it still tastes fine. Um, I just don't know how mustardy this mustard barbecue sauce is. But anyways, I think it's worth some improvement to play around with it a little bit more. All right, till next time.